According to a study, nearly half of the students in the United States have used an illicit drug by 12th grade. Uh, that's discouraging. Drugs are growing in popularity because they're easier to find than they used to be, and they're more attractive than ever before. News 10's Patsy Kelly set out to find out what parents can do about it. Patsy? Well, Mike Patrice, I spoke to a narcotics detective who says he gets calls from frightened parents who just caught their teenager doing drugs. Now, come to find out, they had been noticing little signs of drug use for a while and didn't realize at the time what they were seeing. So I called an expert to find out how we can educate parents on signs and symptoms of the drug culture. Drugs are easier to get than ever before, and for parents, this can be a scary thought. So we decided to call in an expert to show parents what to look out for. As a parent, you need to be an expert in drug use. Greg Ferency is a narcotics detective. He says you can simply swallow a drug such as meth by turning it into pill form using toilet paper and swallowing it. But that's not all. Common household items can be used to do drugs. If you find a, a straw that's this big, that should be a red flag. And they'll make a boat, foil, foil, crease it down the middle, drop the product in there, hit it with an ignition source, straw comes back into play, and they'll suck in the fumes. If you're a parent and you find a small mirror in a kid's room and it's got a, a residue on it, that should be a red flag. This is a ratchet scent that somebody's converted into a crack pipe. Now this is, this is something that teens can get at home. That came right of a tool set. So you can use a lot of different things that you wouldn't think of. Absolutely, and they're very creative. And just because you don't see it on this table doesn't mean that they're not using it. Uh, Coke cans, any kind of balloon can is going to work. I mean, this isn't rocket science here. Um, and the devices are very simple. Ferency says all parents should be well versed not only in drug use but in common symptoms of drug use. Any stimulant is a natural appetite suppressant. Uh, we call them stimulants because they, they, they speed us up so the sleeping pattern will, will start. They'll stay up for two, three, four, five days. Ferency thinks parents should keep themselves informed as much as possible about the drug culture and make sure to stay in constant communication with their kids about what drugs can do to them. As a, as a kid, um, if they're getting exposed to this stuff on the street or, or public places or whatever, they're only hearing how it's going to make them feel and how good it's going to make them feel. As a parent, you need to counter that and tell them all the bad things that come with, with this stuff. Now, for more information about signs you can look for as a parent, you can head to our website at WTHITV.com and check out this story. Uh, good information. Thank you. We yeah. appreciate Thanks, it. Matthew.